So how does flying an L-39 compare to flying a business jet? I have to know. The similarity is that they're jets, of course. <laughs> and so you have to be 10 steps ahead of the airplane. So anyone who's looking to go from a piston to a jet or a turboprop, the biggest help for you is going to be what's gonna happen when I come into the airfield? How fast do I need to be? What altitude? What happens on takeoff? What happens if I, I have an emergency or abnormality? And, and, and thinking ahead of that and to be ahead of the game because it's happening so fast, you can't pull it over on the side of the road like a car. You know, you have to be ahead of the airplane. Think of the L-39 or any fighter jet as more of a Ferrari. And then you've got like a nice Yukon SUV as the global. Wonderful comparison. <laughs> yes. It's, I mean, and especially with the global, the 6,000, 5,500 and the 5,000, which I fly, it's heavy. So you're really having to woman handle the airplane if you need to on, on landing and crosswind and everything like that. And the L-39, it's so nimble. You move it a half an inch and you're almost, you know, doing, doing a roll or, or doing a loop. The other big difference is, is that the global, you typically fly a lot on autopilot because you're a systems manager more than mm -hmm. anything. That certainly, you know how to fly it, hand fly it, of course, because you need to. But it's it's best when it is in that position on, on autopilot and then you can manage from there because there's usually a lot of task saturation as well. The L-39, most of them don't even have autopilots. <laughs> so you're never flying on autopilot. So it makes you a really good pilot on keeping level, making sure that you have this precision with your flying and good stick and rudder skills. So it's the most fun plane to fly the L39 is. There's just there's just no two bits about it. It's it's incredible.